1986, DCI back in Madison once again. The Nintendo video game craze swept the nation, and heaven knows we needed a diversion the way the year started out. The Space Shuttle Challenger exploded as it was leaving the launch pad, killing all aboard and grounding the manned spaceflight program for about two and a half years. The Russians had their share of trouble overseas as the Chernobyl nuclear power plant disaster affected thousands upon thousands of people. At the box office, our diversion that year was Top Gun. That was the, uh, the big hitter. It was a year of triumph, though, in the United States as we rededicated the Statue of Liberty and front and center one of our own for that one. The Garfield Cadets right on national TV dedicating the Statue of Liberty. It was great to see them on the island, Governor's Island, and of course Liberty Island with the statue behind them. It was a great picture, and I, I know I'll never forget them playing at that time. It was perfect. They also did not lose their competitive focus in this year of shorter shows. And they never seem to do that, but they are shorter this year. The shows go from 11 and a half to 13 minutes to 10 to 11 and a half minutes, and this gives a much tighter editing. Cadets, of course, used to putting on these long shows, sometimes 15 minutes, and then they cut them down. The Blue Devils plan to make it 10 and 11 and a half, and they tighten this thing up, and they romp on finals night in 1986. Mm -hmm. It's a slugfest. They was, win. It was a night train coming through. It, it was. They won every caption, every single one. The only core in DCI history to do that except one. I'm betting it was the Blue Devils. Yeah, I'm betting you're right, 1976. They win three times titles with Channel One Suite, mm -hmm. the Buddy Rich, uh, Bill Reddy piece that they used in 1976, 77, and of course, 86. So it's a real visit to their identity and what we think of when we think of the Blue Devils. Santa Clara in second, right up there, at it again. In third place, here come the Cavaliers, establishing their identity. They do Korean folk song suite, and we get to see that kind of wiggle snake thing. Mm. We always think of Brubaker as geometrics, and here's this thing that wiggles back and forth, gets great applause during the drum solo. A terrific idea. And of course, the Garfield Cadets, who decide in addition to doing the uh, Statue of Liberty stuff, they're going to try a bunch of stuff really wacky and really new. This, this was the year of the six million horns, right? And they did about 84 horns, the largest horn line ever on the field. But when it comes to true mastery of every area of drum corps, there's no comparison. For 1986, it's the Blue Devils. Yeah, we had one other thing to watch, though. Those young guys from Indiana in their second year, they made a big jump. They did indeed. The star of Indiana, there is no way to talk about the future of drum corps from a 1986 perspective without mentioning Star of Indiana.